Welcome to Rondo Pools operation and tutorial for the Pentair IntelliFlow variable speed pump. This will hopefully help you take care of all your programming needs as you enjoy the ownership of your new pool. We'll start off by explaining all the different buttons that you'll be using when you program your pump. We have the select button, the enter button, and the escape button. These are the three buttons along with the arrow buttons that you'll use the most as you program your pump. We'll start off by going into the menu, with the menu button, we'll get into settings. These are the different options by scrolling down, you'll see the different options available in the menu. Settings, speeds 1 through 8, external control, which is rarely used, features, priming, antifreeze, and back to settings. We'll start off and we'll go into the settings. The important feature when you're choosing whether you hit the select button or the enter button, think of the select button as actually choosing the choice that you want to make and the enter would be locking in the selection or change that you just made. So you'll be using the select button uh, considerably and then the enter will be locking in your selection. So you see I want to go into the settings so I'll hit the select button and now I can choose my options as I move through the system. So options within the settings menu is the pump address, time setting, AM, PM, temperature, contrast level which controls uh, the contrast of the screen, English, minimum speed and maximum speed settings along with password protection. Uh, in this case, this pump is uh, addressed to pump 3 in our automation system. Uh, typically, without automation, this won't be used. Uh, the only main function that you'll typically get into within the settings menu would be setting the time. So I'll give you a brief tutorial. Scroll down to time. Again, I mentioned we'll hit the select to select the option that we want to change. Now this allows us to go over and change the time up and down minutes, days, happens to be 3.42 in the afternoon as I do this tutorial. Now that I've chosen the time that I want to select, you hit enter to lock in that time. Then you escape, will get you back to the following screen. And then we'll move on to probably the more important useful information that you have today is about setting your programs and your times of day and durations when you want to run the pump. So down the next is our speeds, speeds 1 through 8. There's eight different programmable times and uh, features that you can have on this pump. The first four are located as one button options as you can uh, use them directly from the pump. The second four, speeds 5 through 8, are internal and, can, and have to be uh, accessed through the internal uh, me you know, menu. So. Selecting the speeds gives us the option to pick which speed we want to select. Eight speeds. So once I go in, I want to adjust speed one. We hit select to choose speed one. Now within the speeds, we have different modes of which we want this to be running. So you'll hit, I want to change to see what the options are. So I hit the select button and it shows me what my options are. Schedule egg timer which is you know can be set for just a specific run period manual which would be only be used if you want to manually turn the pump on so schedule egg timer and manual are three options if we want to set a schedule we would hit schedule then we would hit enter to lock in the selection that we've made if you uh... uh commonly in the first time people start programming the pump they'll hit either the wrong select or enter button thinking that's what they want to do. So as an example, um, I get to schedule and I want to hit change the schedule. I hit enter. You'll see it come up with a key error. Um, that just basically tells you that you hit the wrong button. Uh, first time through, you may see a lot of those key errors popping up. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, you'll uh, have less and less key errors and you know how to program your pump. So uh, in this case, we hit schedule. We're locked in with the schedule. Scroll down to the next option it tells us what speed we want to run the pump at. So for speed one, I'm choosing to run the pump at 3450 RPM. That's the highest speed of the pump. That 
is uh, typically used to run spa therapy jets or in-floor cleaning, really using the, uh, the most power out of the pump that we can get off of it. So we set that at 3450. This can be adjusted, you know, as example, if we wanted to have that at a slower speed, we'd hit select, give us the option to change that speed. We go over, you can choose which one you want to change. So if we want to bring it down to, say, 2600 RPM, we can change each number individually, 2600 RPM, and at this point when we have the speed that we want, we hit the enter button, which locks in that speed. Then we can hit this uh, now down one more. This gives us our start time. We have it starting at 10 p.m. Down again, we have it stopping at 6 a.m. So we have it running for an eight hour period from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. If we wanted to change that again, it would be a matter of hitting the select button to choose which time we want to change. If we wanted to increase and run that to 8 a.m., we can bring that up to 8 a.m., hit the enter button to lock in that new stop time, and then we can review our speed one options. Speed one, schedule. 2600 RPM is the speed in which it will run, and it will run from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. And that's how you set your first schedule. If, you want, if you're happy with that, you can escape out. It brings us back to the speeds. You can scroll down and go into speed two. Typically for rondo pools, we'll set up uh, two or three different cycle periods. We'll set one high speed cycle period that runs from uh, anywhere from uh, four to eight hours at night and then one to two low speed cycles that run at a very low filtration speed during the day. That's the real benefit of these variable speed pumps. You get to run them at low energy efficient speeds. So we want to run the in-floor cleaning or your pull vac over the course of the night for really as little time as possible that you need to maintain a clean pool and then uh, we run low speed cycles at approximately um, 1600 to 2100 RPM to filter the water at a very low efficient speed. So in speed two we'll give an example of how to do an egg timer. Uh, in the egg timer we'll be able to uh, utilize this feature. So let's say you had a, uh, a water feature, a shear descent, another option and you wanted speed 2 to be a nice easy one touch option run over hit that speed uh, it's going to run uh, a certain speed of the pump for a certain period of time so we would hit select that'll help choose in this case uh, speed 2 has been set up as a manual speed so if we want to change that we hit select it gives us that option that we want to change scroll down to egg timer we hit enter to lock in that choice. Now we scroll down, tells us the speed that we want to run it at. We hit select and we can move over and change the speed to any speed that we want. Let's say we want it at 2400 RPM. Have that speed that we want selected properly. We hit enter, locks in that speed. And then this is the duration. As an egg timer, it's just a specific duration. You hit that speed two button once we're done, it'll run for that specific time. So hit select to choose the time. You know, this could be as little as, you know, a couple minutes or a couple hours. So if we want to run the water feature for two hours, uh, every time we hit speed two, we hit enter to lock in that choice. So now we have speed two set up as an egg timer, 2400 RPM, running for two hours. You can escape out and then continue that operation, speed one, speed two, speed three, and each one can be set up for a different time. Another couple of useful features for this pump would be the quick clean option. So in the menu, We'll go down to the features option. We'll hit the select button to see what feature options that we have. Timeout, quick clean. Quick clean is a nice option to allow you to set to run for, uh, typically we set our clients up with a three hour quick clean feature 
uh, at whatever speed is necessary to run the uh, cleaning system of the pool. So to uh, modify this and on this pump, we would hit select. You see that our set time, or excuse me, set speed for running our quick clean is at 34.50 RPM. Uh, that will run our in-floor cleaning system at the uh, at the most powerful level. We scroll down, and you can see it's set for 10 minutes. Uh, we'll hit select to change that. We'll set that for three hours. We'll hit enter to lock in that time. So now we have a quick clean feature that's 3450 RPM set to run for three hours. This is really helpful uh, if you're on a, a Saturday morning, you wake up, you're having people over to swim that afternoon. Uh, you can easy one touch quick clean. What that's going to do is turn that pump on for that three hours at your high speed and after that's done it's going to revert back to the normal programming that you have so it's a nice just easy way to walk out one touch button to uh, get the pool running and cleaning for you again and we can escape out of that get back to the features see what other features that we have quick clean and timeout so if you uh, set the timeout feature of your pump uh, is more for uh, maintenance and service for people to uh, service your pump and you know uh, basically set it up where it's not running for a specific period of time after they use the pump. We escape out. So you get that key error every once in a while. Go back to menu. So settings, speeds, giving you a tutorial on how to program your speeds, features. The quick clean is going to be that most popular feature. Priming. Uh, depending on your specific condition, uh, you can utilize priming. It basically turns the pump on at a very high speed when it initially comes on, but then settles back into the lower speed that you have programmed. Uh, in most cases, priming is not needed. As you can see on this pump, we have the priming disabled, uh, but if you wanted to enable priming, you could select that change it to enabled, hit enter to lock in that selection. In our case, we want to keep it disabled. Enter to lock in the selection and then come back out to the menu. Now as we uh, come out of the pump, utilizing your pump, typically all you'll need to do is hit the speed that you want to run and hit the start button. You can see that kicked that pump on. Now you can see it says reading uh, running speed one. Uh, running speed one is that program at 2600 RPM. Hit stop. The most important thing when programming your new pump uh, and you've made changes, whenever you hit this stop button, you'll see it says stopped. If I hit the stop button again, you'll notice it says running schedule. Right now it's 3.53 in the afternoon that speed one is set to run from 10 p.m. to 6 or 8 a.m. so right now it's not at a period of time that it's actually supposed to be running the pump but we are running the schedule and that's important if you had hit stop and it just said stop and you left the pump like this and walked away it wouldn't know to turn that pump on you have basically left the pump outside of its normal programming so whenever you walk away from the pump, you want to make sure that the light on the start-stop button is on and it says running schedule. If we happen to have a program that was running at this time of day, when you hit the stop button and it said running schedule, it would actually be running the program that's set to run at that specific time. So hopefully that's a lot of really good information to use as you learn to program your pump. Um, thanks for choosing Rondo Pools to build your pool. and. Happy swimming.